Hello guys from Open Gate. Everything is fine with you? With us, everything is okay. Let's follow Renato today. This is a case of dermatitis, a tissue wound in the dermis, and in well, in inside it is also a wound that apparently she had on the hoof due to the way she cut these hoofs, where we call the crown. So this hoof emerged and healed. You can see that there is a protrusion one different hoof line as it is not like the outside hoof line. So they are small wrinkles and see that these are bigger and it is the formation of the skin of the hoof. So it is like a scar. That is the hoof is thicker and with a little less resistance but in review of the situation well, it is a hoof that is excellent compared to an injured hoof, in other words. So it's a great result. Well, we're going to do the hoof now. And, well, we're going to try to fix it and find the best position to not get on top of the injury. And now it's getting a little bad too because it's trying to get dark. So, our light is already disappearing and losing strength it's a little cloudy and uh, at dusk i'm whitening with the flashlight on my cell phone as you said renato is a case that has a problem but the it's a resistant hoof so, as we go on handling and hoofing, it will help more the distribution of the hoof. However, in nature, many things simply happen perfectly and many times, uh, well, the human hand does not get as good a result as nature itself. Well, each of the animals that we want to let be handling, we learn more. It's a little dirty here. Oh, I'm looking like this. Well, it actually it looks like a larva. Oh, look, it, it, it's, it, it is one. It is just... A fly larva. And well, that's that's because of the smell. Because there is a little frog rot and because of the smell the flies come and land and we don't notice it. And we only notice it when it's there with the larva. And itself it, I had a difficulty realizing it. So Renato will remove the excess and improve the appearance of the hoof, giving comfort to her stepping. I saw that the the how the hurt was so big, so she was feeling a little pain. So the the, the bed was under a lot of pressure on the ground and more needs to be cut and as this part is higher and as it's stepped and well all the hoof moves but the whole hoof itself moves however her hoof moves a little more due to the pressure In this case, I'm going to do something that for many could be wrong for a strategic reason and it's a, a height ratio. I'm going to leave this bed touching the ground a little less, a little higher, just the injured area to relieve a little and not hurt up. In her case, this is necessary, right, Renato? Yes, I have already done and it's working. But soon after, 
Yeah. Oh, it's just a, a whole thing that I do because the next whole thing has probably has already given time for the wound to heal, and so I go back to performing the complete hoofing. As I said, she was stepping high, and as she weighted the wound, she was making this stepping movement. I saw that she was in discomfort, so if she is in discomfort, I will do what is necessary to remove that pressure. Well, maybe it's wrong, but it's a way I do from time to time to to relieve the local pain, especially in the crown. Also, in the next roofing, just uh, picking up the parts that have small holes as you do the roofing, so they they will come out, right? This way it will be closed normally and it will heal too. Maybe that part will come with some injury again because... Well, but I'll do my best not to. It can come with deformity because of where it starts to be born. But not much, because I'm going to do it to remove the pressure. And not to do this uh, here, like this. And if it was like an ingrown toenail, in this case, as you explained, it, you remove this bottom part a lot more, so as not to have so much pressure when stepping on top. Very well, now wait for the next one. Well, we are waiting because now the medicine will be applied to the injury. Let's wait for the next hoofing. Everyone, God bless you and until the next video, God willing. Our motto is to listen to those who have no voice to be heard.